Hi, I'm Paul from Bellingham Kite Paddle Surf, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about uh, some of the Tomo uh, shapes. Uh, so this is a Vader. Um, this is a small one, a 410, uh, with Futures boxes, uh, and all the uh, Vanguard uh, boards we've, we're selling right now are in the helium construction, which is extremely light. Uh, they're super, super light construction. Um, if you have a, if you have an older uh, board from Tomo, like the FST construction, uh, there or the kite construction, the previous ones are quite a bit heavier. Um, maybe it's time for an upgrade. Something to think about anyway. Uh, some people ride them waxed. I've ridden them waxed. Uh, the boards are super resistant to heel dents. Um, I I personally prefer to ride with pads, and so. Uh, this is the first board that I got from Tomo, uh, and it's their Vanguard, which is an incredible shape, has this kind of swallow shape tail, and it's been out for a number of years. When it really came out, it revolutionized uh, surfboard, surfboard construction, and especially, I think, for people who are kiting. Um, so Dave Thompson, or Tomo, when he made this, was, he made the sizes originally or in shapes for uh, surfing, but people figured out that they work incredibly well for kite surfing too. Um, and they have like this modern planing hole shape that you hear a bunch about, uh, kind of parallel rails, a single concave. Um, but what they do is they ride incredibly well. Uh, the Vanguard is a great surfboard for people, especially in light wind or smaller mushy waves. The board is incredibly efficient. It's super fun to ride. You can ride it pretty small. I'm about 190 pounds right now and I ride the 5'2 in the Vanguard and think that is a perfect shape. Uh, they're great for strapless airs. Of course, they don't have inserts, so you can buy a special pad with inserts, but I feel like you know, if you can get one of these boards, they ride so well. Uh, to get a lot of the performance, it's really good to ride them strapless. Um, anyway, but the Vanguard is an amazing board for lighter winds. Uh, it's super efficient, it's super fast, and super smooth. Uh, it has more drawn out carves, and it carves hard. Um, and the trick to unleashing the carving in these boards is really get your back foot as far aft as possible. A uh, mistake I made when I first got the board is I put a pad in a traditional place, my uh, uh, stomp pad, and didn't really realize that, that often my foot was on the very, you know, the, the top or the very back end of uh, the stomp pad. So definitely put the pads back as far as possible. Um, and I like to run my pads pretty far forward because, you know, when you're in waves, a nice wide stance is, is pretty ideal. Um, uh, after the, vet, the Vanguard came out, that's been about like maybe five years ago, the next year uh, they introduced the Vader. Uh, the Vader is an incredible board. It looks like similar, it looks the same. You wouldn't think it would ride very differently. It has a, kind of a diamond tail, uh, but it rides really differently. It's, it's much more loose on the surface. Uh, it's more playful, uh, not quite as fast. It's also not as efficient. If you're riding in a powered uh, environment, riding really powered on kites, uh, the Vader is probably a better fit than the Vanguard works awesome. I've ridden in from anything from light wind with a big kite to uh, 30 knots and a, or more, uh, gusting to 40 I'm sure, uh, on a 4.5, but, uh, but the Vader really excels in powered conditions. In super light wind it's got quite a bit of rocker and so it's not as efficient. Uh, but what it gives up in efficiency, it, it gains in playfulness and turnability. Uh, again, if you're riding in powered places or if you're riding and you just want a dedicated wave board, then the Vader is an incredible board. Just, it's a super fun to ride. And uh, the latest edition, it's been out for a few years now, is the Evo. Uh, so also going from these boards, if I ride a 5.2 in the Vanguard. Uh, an inch shorter in the Vader 5.1 and it feels quite a bit smaller. Um, and the Evo that I've tried a bunch is a 4.10. Uh, I probably would ride a little larger uh, strapless airs on a 4.10. You feel like you're on a potato chip and it's a tiny little board, but it rides incredibly well. Uh, it's also really efficient like the Vanguard. Uh, it's kind of turny and skatey uh, like the Vader, but the Vader has a more drawn out feel and uh, the Evo is more, you know, rides like a skateboard on the top of the water. Uh, it's a great travel board too. 
Uh, the Evo comes, they all come in a lot of different sizes, but basically when you're going from one to the other, if you've ridden one, uh, then you know you basically ride a little bit smaller from Va Vanguard to Vader down to Evo. But you got to check them out. The, there are boards that have revolutionized the kite uh, surfing industry, and uh, there's a lot of copies out there, but few boards ride like the originals. So check them out. If you got more questions, you can give us a call at Bellingham Kite Paddle Surf, or check us out online at kitepaddlesurf.com.